Yeah, and I'd really like to, to add on to, to what Colonel Clancy and, and Steve said. Um, so I think that, you know, it's easy for us to, to look at, uh, you know, authentication methods as the, how can we make it more secure, right? So we want PIV where we can have PIV. RSA tokens are a great alternative where those don't work. But uh, it, I, I try to encourage my clients to look at it from, from, the, from a different angle, right? So there's a new new quote unquote kind of form of, of consumer identity and access management, right? So CIM or customer identity and access management. And this is something that's really, I think, been pioneered from our financial sector side, right? Where there's a, a, a strong- end up using it, right? It, exactly, right? So there's a really strong need. Live, you yeah. know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So the need for security is, is, is really clear, right? So you're protecting financial institutions. But the, the way that they look at it is not even from the security side, but it's from that end user side, right? So they go through the journey mapping and, and, and figure out how people use the system and then add security in there to make it work for them, right? So I think that those efforts, if we can apply them e even to in the DOD, right? So if we treat our end users as if they're customers, as if they had another choice where they're using our system because they want to, not because th that they have to. Uh, I think that's a really good way to think about it because it, it helps us build solutions that are better for them. And solutions that are better for them means that they'll think of less ways to go around it and, and subvert it and create more security roles.